Greetings sports fans nationwide, you have entered the Sports Opinion Log here in Lex Anderson World and this video was initially supposed to be about last night, NCAA, March Madness, more upsets, but uh, it is with sadness in my heart that I announced that earlier today, it was mentioned that Hall of Famer, Laker great Elgin Baylor has passed away at the age of 86. So um, that had to be mentioned first and foremost, of course, Lakers, you know how I feel, man. So, uh, you know, but being a sports historian, for those who do or don't know, let me read off the elite stats of Elgin Baylor. Elgin Baylor remains only one of four players in NBA history to average 25 points per game and 10 rebounds per game and only two players in NBA history have averaged more points per game than Baylor, Will Chamberlain and Michael Jordan. Baylor is also an 11-time All-Star, 10-time First Team All-NBA, All-Star Game MVP 1959, Rookie of the Year 1958 to 59, and of course his number 22 was retired by the Lakers, including the wonderful statue the monument that they built in his honor. I have to post it. Let's just take a quick look. Let us bow our heads in a moment of silence in memory and honor of Elgin Baylor. And despite doing this video with a heavy heart, this show must go on. You have entered the Sports Opinion Lock here in Lex Anderson World. Last night, March Madness, the realm in which we delve into last night, the bright lights were activated, the national stage was set, and upsets galore. Oral Roberts has put the nation on notice. Loyola, Chicago, uh, okay, they're doing their thing. It looks like we have two Cinderella's in the building. Rutgers, what the F, man? Bright lights, national stage, what will you be remembered for? Mm -mm -mm. And you know what? Despite the heavy heart, I love the fact that I am enjoying March Madness because unlike any other, it is in one state. That is Indiana. Bubble scenario going on. This is truly a championship that is up for grabs. And even though North Carolina isn't in it, shout out DJ Pause Cut for supplying me with this North Carolina. I'm talking about straight from North Carolina. This gear is from North Carolina. Thank you, DJ Pause Cut. So again, I can sit back and look at all the teams that shoulda, coulda, woulda get shown the door and the smaller programs are on top. And you know what? I think I know the reason why. But first, let's get into these scores and upsets. Let's go. Sister Jean was in the building with her prayers, which you know what that means. An upset victory occurred. Loyola Chicago upsets number one ranked Illinois. Final score 71-58. And the eighth seeded Loyola Chicago are just... Well, again, there's no brackets left anyway, so they are just wrecking havoc. And speaking of wrecking havoc, Wisconsin, which dominated a lesser North Carolina team, uh, shout out Brooklyn Maine, who informed me that Kessler, after his freshman season, is choosing to leave the program. But whatever, all right, you know, the show must go on. But Wisconsin ranked number nine, falls to number one Baylor, final score is 76 to 63. And of course... I had called it earlier in my videos. I was saying, watch out for Syracuse. They could be dangerous. And look at what happens. Gets by number three ranked West Virginia. Final score is 75-72 as Buddy Boheim, the son, Buddy Boheim, carrying his father, Jim, into the Sweet 16 with a dominating performance, dropping 22 of his 25 points in the second half. But like I talked about with DJ Porscut, their inability to successfully inbound the ball 
made this game a nail biter. So if a simple play like inbounding a basketball is a problem, uh, let's see what happens as they now step into the next level, the Sweet 16. Number three, Arkansas gets by Texas Tech University ranked number six. A whole lot of sixes in this because the final score was 68 to 66 as Arkansas just gets by. But hey, they are now in the Sweet 16 for the first time in nearly 25 years. And you know what, sports fans nationwide, I am going to have to do what the top one percenter and the people's sportscaster does best. I'm going to have to say what the nationwide sports leader, the Foxies, the corporate shells, they've sold their soul to the almighty dollar. Rutgers, you choked. Rutgers was up, what, 10, 14 points? But then go one for eight in the last four minutes and 30 seconds Number 10 ranked Rutgers could have upset number two Houston, but they choke final score 63 to 60 in a loss as devastating as you will ever see because the bright lights were activated, the national stage was set, and unfortunately Rutgers will still not be going to a sweet 16 since 1976. How about Oral Roberts, number 15? Down nearly, what was it, like 12, 15 points to the number seven Florida Gators? But no, it is Oral Roberts who turns the table. Final score 81 to 78. Florida Gators motherfucking choked. Eh, 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 pathetic. Pathetic. But you know what wasn't pathetic? That would be number five Villanova. Villanova ranked number five dominating North Texas ranked number 13 as they rained down 15 three-pointers on the game. Final score 84-61 and North Texas, well, you know, they played like their ranking. They never saw it coming. They got boom. And speaking of boom, number 12, Oregon State, who no one cared about. Mere afterthought, number four, Oklahoma State. It is Oregon State dominating performance final score 80 to 70 and you know what america if you are or are not aware remember this name the young man's name is ethan thomas and right now he is turning the tournament upside down on its head with his dominating performance dropping 26 points in that game so you know like i wanted to mention so it is really a good time right now where these you know, quote unquote, lesser or smaller programs are getting the national stage to do what they're doing. And it's a beautiful thing. And, you know, talking to my uh, good friend DJ Porscut about, you know, the all dangs NCAA college basketball, we're coming to this assessment that these big programs that these young kids want to go to and be one and done and get paid at the NBA, they are falling to the lesser programs who've been around more. They're more cohesive. The continuity is there. Screenplays and traps and settings, like it, it's crazy. So you know what? My team might not be a part of it, but I'm a part of it. You sports fans nation and worldwide are a part of it. So let me get ready to wrap up and drop this video so I can check out the games that are going on tonight. Until next time, sports fans nationwide, Lex Anderson signing out.